Hello, today I just want to talk about one small thing and that is the most important exercise for circular breathing. So circular breathing for us the judo players means that our drone is continuous even when we breathe in. So there are no breaks. That is a simple definition and for now it will do. There are two crucial steps, I would say quantum steps, so that they are like one state and another state and one of them is drone to be able to make drone you need to have the drone to have a continuous drone so you either can do the drone or you can do the drone sure there are some things in between but basically you regard yourself as able to do drone or not able so at the moment i think mm, i will consider like you can the other crucial step is ability to expel air from your mouth while breathing in. Okay, you will breathe in at the beginning of that process. Probably the clearest way to learn that crucial step, which is really so directly uh, related to circular breathing, is to use uh, the exercise with water. So you put water in your mouth, you push it with your tongue, and you breathe in at the beginning of that movement. Now, how do you do that? Well, you just do it, you know, you try enough times that it happens. This is already movement that you've done when you were biting sandwich and breathing in. So this is a very similar movement. You shouldn't be confused too much about it. You shouldn't think too much about circular breathing and all of that. You should just follow the instructions. So you need to be a human fountain, which can breathe in while fountaining. This is how it's done. So remember to expel air, to exhale before you start the, um, to put water in your mouth or when you have water in your mouth but before you start expelling it because you need some room in your lungs to breathe in. Um, next, if needed, stop and feel this water and then, you know, remember what it was like to square that water in your cousin's ear while you were swimming and go to that feeling and you know, push the water out. While you're pushing it, you will have a few seconds while it lasts. Then you send a signal to your brain, breathe in, okay? And that's it. You have to be very comfortable with being able to do that. It's better if you can expel this water further away from you so that you're not too wet while you're doing it. But it might happen that you will have to change what you've been wearing. So again, Okay, you can also see if you have this kind of measurement here how much volume there is in your mouth. Not too much, but if you don't make this um, line of water too thick, um, you'll have some time to breathe in. Even three times if needed. So then, when you can do that, you can um, go out of the bathroom or go inside or stay as you wish. And you need to be able to inhale while producing this uh, froggy, farty sound. This okay? So it's like um, the same, same movement like when you had water in your mouth. To be sure as sure as you can be about anything, uh, that you're using only the mouth air, you need to exhale and then do it, okay? So you put air in your mouth. Okay, so there will be enough time for you to breathe in and fill your lungs. Once you can do that, um, you can take your ditch and try that movement on the ditch. 
Maybe it will not sound the best from the from the beginning, but somewhere there hides the real drone. And then you iterate towards um, circular breathing. But we will do a more extensive video on that. However, I will give you a spoiler on what happens there. This is what happens. I hope the video has been helpful to you. Please subscribe and I'll see you later. Spiral out. Keep digging.